Once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy, there's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. We go inside the Ladies octagon. Here's the veteran for This is Buffett. the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my
just out of range with that left hook. Big leg kick lands. Nice slip to avoid the left. Three minutes in our opening round. Just misses there with the left. Leg Back kick. and forth we go! Great punch landed with so much power. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Real sneaky body kick. He landed the right hand there. Blocks the shot. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Lands flush with that right hand. Whip his hip into that kick. Checks the leg kick. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for you now. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Five minutes in the books. Well, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel. He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You're not defending yourself. This guy can hurt you. You've got to be smart. This isn't the way we train in the gym. Keep your hand. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Kick checked by Lee. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee.
big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Lee. Just missed with the left there. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not great. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get from that fight. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. I mean, that right hand landed square. Nice back and forth action here. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, that's a pretty filthy combination there by Lou. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, big left. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Long place kick there by Lee. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. to go. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets out. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it in the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Big kick land. Oh, 
Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down and cannot take many of those kicks. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Blocks the shot. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid the shot. Well, not a ton behind it, but that knee landed right on the target, and again, for the taller fighter, making it look easy as he raises that limb up top. Beautiful kick. Landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Right under the elbow, body kick lane. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Ooh, blocks the shot. Nice head kick. Punch over the top. Just misses with the right. Under two minutes to go in the round. Just unable to quite find that range. Big leg kick land. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. That's a big strike right there. All right, less than a minute here to go in our fourth round. Oh, big head kick land. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Now connects with the right. Unable to connect with the right. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man going to earn his money tonight. Inside low kick is awesome. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Fifth and final round. Misses with the left hook. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Oh, big punch land. Nice, sneaky head kick. And he's looking for that left hand. Not there. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Whoa! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger.
just out of range with that right hand. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Not there. Watch knees to the body. And he caught the kick. Nice punch, Lance. Liver kick. Nice defense there. Huge block. Whoa. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Right here. What a 15 minutes put forth. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. Play the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised 